Hi everyone, it's Diane. I know it's only 7.29, but I thought I'd sign in a little bit early and let everybody get uh, a cup of tea and get to uh, relax a bit. Let's see if I can get get everything up on my iPad. And for some reason, let me see if I can get it up there. Oh, I don't know why it's not coming up because it says it's recording oh there we go there oh for so oh my goodness hold on ladies I have to turn my phone around it looks like it's right here but it's not let's see if I can get it is that turning it around oh yes and now you get to see my messy workspace but let's see if I can oh there we go oops Let's see if I can bring this down a bit. Let me see if I can bring it down a bit. Oh, there we go. Perfect. So it is 7.30 on Thursday. Today, um, we're trying a new product, the Spellbinders Better Press, Letter Press System. Now, um, this is very new to me, so I hope that you... Um, Give me a little bit of leeway because, like I say, it is new and I haven't played with it a lot. So this is the easy press. I've taken it out of the box, and this is what you get. You get your your special ink and your plates. These are called plates, not dies. This is what you run through your machine and the cotton paper. And I'll have to show explain everything to you. So what it is is the cotton paper allows the ink to sink into the ink. You know when the Sometimes you st make a you stamp an image and the ink runs a bit. This the cotton paper for this allows the ink to sink in and it doesn't do that ru the the running around like it would on a normal stamp. Okay, now the ink that we have to use comes with the Better Press and it's a special ink. Um, it's a Spellbinders Better Press ink. It's acid free, oops, free, permanent and waterproof. And it is a thicker ink designed for the better press. Okay. Now, these are just some of the things I've played with. I know that um, Carol and Liz have played with some things, too. And I have some things that I can show you with that. Um, so, what we did, what I did, personally, is I just kind of played with it a little bit. Um, this is another plate that we have. Um, it is separate from the, uh, that comes with, excuse me, the um, Better Press. And these are called plates. I would have thought they were called dies, but no, they're called plates. Okay. And I'll just show you this other one. I will be demonstrating it tonight. And it's actually on glitter paper. It actually stamps properly on the glitter paper. It is special glitter paper. It is opulent opal, and it is a smooth glitter. You know, sometimes you can get a bit of a rougher glitter cardstock. This is quite smooth. So what I'm going to show you first, actually, is how to make this. Okay, and we're going to make it into a card. Okay, and we're going to do some blending with the Oxide inks and the alt new brushes. Now, I've never tried these alt new brushes, and I am definitely sold. Much of a nicer um, coverage wider um, coverage you don't have to um, press as hard for a coverage and it's very very soft okay so I've cut a piece of cardstock it's a bit oh, a bit bigger than what um, we would put on the card but I will trim that down later actually because I want to get the full um, dimension of the plate and then we can cut that down so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Altenew brush and the Distressed Ink Shaded Lilac. And I'm just going to brush it over the ink like so. Okay. Now I'm going to take it off to the side and come into the paper, not right onto the paper. So it doesn't give it that harsh look that you can get. As you can see with mine here a little bit. On the edge it's a bit darker. That's because I didn't do what I was just did. Okay, so it's easier to just blend it in. Even though you get it on your craft matter, it just washes off with a little bit of a wipe, spritz of water, and some um, paper towel. 
But see the beautiful um, shading with these brushes. I'll definitely be getting a collection of those, I can tell you. And I'll just give it a little bit more. And then just come in a little bit. Okay, put that one back. They come in their little click holder. And the next one, excuse me, oxide ink I'm going to use is the Salvaged Patina. It's one of my favorite colors. Just brush it a bit on the ink pad, brush it like so, and just bring it in. Mm -hmm. So, how's everybody enjoying that cold weather outside? It's just bitter out. I can't see, again, any of the comments. Let's see here. Um, as I am, sorry, on my phone, and the phone's up there, so I can't really see it. And I, oh, there we go. So, I've just blended that all nicely. And I'm going to put those to the side, and I'm going to, oh, there's my wipes, and wipe off my, my table here, like so, and then take a paper towel to it. There we go. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to pl place this piece of cardstock into the better press machine. Now, this is your better press, press machine. Okay, and I do have a plate here. Now, this is magnetized, so it is, as you can see here, it doesn't come off. We're going to put the easy press stamp here. Now, on the plate, you have measurements for your A2 cards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this like so, right side up. Oops. For now, I can just place it on here because I'll be turning it over. I'm going to take some repositional tape. And I did have it here. Oh, there it is. And I'm going to put it on just slightly. I'll put that up like this, maybe over a little mm -hmm. bit. This will allow you to measure with your um, plate exactly where you want your ink to go. Let me just see. Yeah, that's about so. And I'm just going to put a little piece of tape so it holds it down. Okay. I wasn't sold on the letter press at first. I thought, why would I want to buy this when I have stamps? Definitely sold the first time you try it, ladies. You will absolutely love it. So this plate comes off. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take our ink and we're going to ink the whole plate. And with this ink, you don't slide it. You kind of just put it on and twist it. Okay. Oops. Just to make sure that you've got it there. Okay, lid on your ink because you don't want to get ink on your paper. You turn this upside down, and like I said, it is magnetic. Magnetic. Now, you will see a bit of space in between here. That's why we tape definitely tape the paper to it. Okay, and I'm going to get my Big Shot. And this goes right through your Big Shot. Okay, like so. Oh, I might need my little plate to go through underneath that because it's just not enough now let me see if i have my little plate here ladies if you'll let's see if this one will work just to give it a bit extra let me see this might be too tight on it i let's see let me see That's, yep definitely too tight so, maybe this one, just to give it a, I don't even know, that's 
try putting it through. Like I said, this is all new to me. Like so. No, I don't think it's going to. Okay, so let's see if it... it... Now see, it didn't 100% come through. But because it's taped... We're going to put it back on. I'm just going to put a little bit more ink on it, like I said. And maybe just put a piece of 110-pound cardstock underneath it. Everybody's machine is different. I'm going to put this back. Let's hope I put it back on right side up. There we go. Okay, and I have some 110-pound cardstock already cut over here to the side. So we'll just put that in. Maybe that'll just put it a little more. And we're going to pull. I can feel it, the difference in it now. There we go. And then we're going to bend it back. Okay, we're going to take it out and I'm going to just leave my big shot over here on the floor. I'm going to take this off. Oh my goodness. I didn't put it on the right way. So we'll just do it again. Definitely do that again. Not too bright, am I, ladies? But that's okay. I'll just put a bigger piece in there this time. There we go, and we'll cut it down after. Oh, perfect, and we'll cut that down. So again, I'm going to blend my inks. I can't believe I just did that. Oh my goodness. So ignore that demonstration and we'll start again. Okay. I'll just do this up. It definitely worked, but just I didn't put it on properly, so oh excuse me. These alt new brushes are great for shading backgrounds. I do like these two colors together. I never would have thought to put them together. Actually, this was Liz's idea to put them together. There we go. Okay, let's try this again, ladies. Okay, I'm going to bring my press in again. I'm going to tape. Oops, my tape is still there. Onto the plate, like so. Now don't forget, I did make the paper a bit bigger than what the actual card size would be, and I will cut it down because I want to get most of this on it. So we'll just ink it all like so. Actually, that's the top of the plate. And I'm just tapping and turning my ink. Okay. And again, we're going to attempt this. You put your plate on, it's all mag magnetized, it'll hold into, spot, into place. Okay, I'm going to put my two sheets of 110 pound cardstock underneath my um, better press. And hopefully it will go through with, I'm just gonna turn it around here because I have my cup of tea there. And I found it does go better, go through better on my Big Shot than it did on my Vagabond, ladies. And voila, there's your print. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this down to, to size and I'll just move this over here like so for a quick jiffy. And I'm going to cut that down.
fit on the card. Go. You know, it depends again how many um, pieces of paper that you do put underneath, but it uh, went really well on that. So I'm just gonna make a quick card here. Now I gotta find my score tape. Oh, new package. My my score tape. Oh my goodness, my express tape. You can get this at Class Act. This is the I use this tape all the time for my cards. Oops, there we go. Now, about this plate, you can stamp on ribbon. I have a sample here to show you after I put this card together. Um, the stamping on the ribbon was awesome. Absolutely awesome. I just loved it. Now you can see some places where the ink isn't as dark as other colors. That's probably because I didn't ink the plate up enough on those particular spots. Okay, and I'm just going to place that down like so. Oops, I didn't get that in here, so I just... How many of you put cards front on backwards? Yeah, that's a big thing for me. I've done that so many times. Now we're only going to be making the one card. I'm going to show you how to stamp it on the glitter pit cardstock and then color it with your alcohol markers. Love doing that. It doesn't come out the, it comes out with a softer hue to the markers as it does to, when you do it just on um, normal cardstock. And there you go. Like so. And again. Now Carol has these better presses in the store. I was there yesterday with her. We had a blast. Hadn't been in the store for quite a while, as everybody knows I am in Mississauga. So it was a great shopping experience. Okay, now they also have, excuse me, some plates that you can buy with the um, sayings on it. And I had stamped, or I had um, done these already on the um, better press, and they're right here. So I'm just going to cut one of them out. Now I'm going to find my little, oh, there it is, die cutting machine. And I'm just going to cut one out. And, oh, I think the happy anniversary is nice. Okay. And then I'll just take my little scissors and just cut that like so and make a little... at the end to make it look like ribbon. There we go. And all you do is you go into the center of your cardstock and then quarter into quarter. Okay. And then we're gonna add that. I'm gonna pop dot that because now have pop dots. One of the reasons it was such a shopping experience. I purchased these pop dots. There's 50 sheets in the package. They were $51.89. And they are the best pop dots that actually that I have used. They store nicely. Um, they don't unravel like the rolls do. I'll just take a sheet out of here. like so. There, and I'm just going to put them in a box after. There we go. And of course they've all popped, so I'll just put those over there. Okay. Now what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to cut them in half. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I don't have to. Oh, I don't have to. They fit perfectly on the sentiment. 
Okay, and then I'm just going to add the sentiment to the card. Now, you can use the plates from the better press on your heat press for foil, but you cannot use the foil plates on the better press. Now, I haven't tried this. I was hopefully going to get uh, some time to do it today, but I just didn't like it. You, as everybody knows, life gets in the way and you get so busy. So now I have some Pink Fresh Bling Lavender. And I thought that would look really pretty on this. Let's see if I can get this open. There we go. Okay, and I'm just going to put some glue on that. Find my jewel picker here. And just I'm going to pop three just uh, randomly. Okay. And you don't have to use all the same size. I try to. Um, I just think it looks nicer when you try and use the three the same size. That's just my preference. It doesn't have to be yours. Everybody has a different preference. So there you are. There's our first card made with the better press. I love it. I think it's just awesome. And this one I will add, actually while I got them out, I'll just add some bling here. And I'll just yeah, put that up there. This time I'm going to use the bigger bling. And I will make that into a card as well. Because I do have, there we go. There. So what I'll do after is I'll find a nice background here. Oh, oh, I have an extra one. Woo -hoo -hoo. I can put that on this one is what I'll do. And I'll actually put that on the back on a card base. I'm just going to get these back in here. Is everybody getting ready for Christmas? I know I've started my shopping. Okay, I will definitely add that to some cardstock after. So the next thing we're going to do is I've already cut the um, glitter cardstock. Okay, ladies, love it. Love it. And again, I got that at Class Act in Oshawa. Now we're going to use the plate. Now I've got to find where I've put the plate that comes, oh, there it is, that comes with the better press. Okay, ladies? Just put that one up there. So this one comes with the better press. It also comes with two, um, you're my favorite person. One spelt with it, favorite with a U and one without as some uh, countries don't uh, or don't have the U in it. Okay, so again, I'm going to stick down the glitter cardstock. Oops, I got the tape off there. Like so. Yep, that will go right into the middle of the A2. As you see here, it's got the A7 and the A2 to put your paper. Okay, and I'm just going to actually do this one on the side because... I don't want to get any. Okay, so we can cut that down to size later. Now, we'll do the same technique. One second. Oh, there's the ink. My craft area has been a mess. I'm trying to get ready for a craft sale. And you do the same thing with this one. Okay. Oops. Now, if you get some ink on this, alcohol or the archival ink remover will take the ink off of your base. Okay. Okay, again, we're going to put this on like so, and it's mag magnetized. Get the big shot. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, and I didn't, that's what I forgot to put down, ladies. Good thing I noticed that. You are from my favorite person. I'm just going to put that right there. And of course, I just had the ink, oh, it's right beside me. And I'm going to ink that again. Just 
And then I'll show you how to clean up your, there we go. There we go. And our big shot. My two pieces of, of cardstock here. Now, again, just put it through like so. And I put it back again just to make sure that I have gotten it on properly. The ink to the paper. Let's see. Oh, ladies, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, now I'm going to show you how to quickly clean this and then it will color this in. So I have some rubbing alcohol here. handy and I'm going to take my plate off oops and then off some rubbing alcohol on some paper towel here I always have paper towel in the crafting because God knows when you're going to spill something okay and then just there you go looks almost like new there you go that was it. That's how easy that was to clean off. Okay, I'm going to put my plate to the side now. And I'm going to show you. I did take my markers. Okay. Just put those to the side. And I have my uh, tribeline markers. Love, love, love these markers. Excuse me. I like how they, they blend nicely. So I'm going to do the... Excuse me the um, leaves. I'm going to take the darker color. I hope everybody can see me okay. And just go up a bit with the darker color. I'm going to take the medium color. And do that. And then the lighter color at the tip. Okay. Kind of just do that in strokes on the on the leaves in the medium color and then the light. Okay, now these little ones here, I just did the medium and the light. And a bit on here. just to give it a bit more or with the, oh look at that see I can do it like this now so the dark this can actually use the two colors because I want to get the boldness of them them out I find the lighter color just because of the glitter paper isn't quite as bold I like these markers much better than I do the the Copic because it already has the, the shading matched for you. How many of you ladies are going to the crop? Not this weekend, next weekend. At the Legion. I can't wait. I'm looking so forward to it.
Now, if you were to do stamp um, with a stamp on this, it wouldn't um, adhere to the glitter paper. It would start to smudge. But with the better, better press, it allows it to, um, it's almost like it, I don't even want to say it melts in. It doesn't, but it sets into the um, cardstock as opposed to sitting on top of the cardstock. And it doesn't run when you put your ink on it. Like some inks will. Okay, that'll be dark, medium. Okay, now I'm going to do the flowers in two different colors. I've chosen the pale pink shade and the purple blend. So let's do the purple blend here. And we'll just do this one here with the darker. And I'll just do the two. And I'll just take the light and do that as well. And it'll blend just nicely. Okay, and then I just... Okay. I'm going to play around with this this week and uh, with the heat press as well and see what cards that I can't come out with. So this, I'm just going to do some dark around this edge here. I'm going to do the top one purple as well. I have to say, I do like coloring on the glitter card stuff. What a difference. I don't know if there's any comments, ladies. Let me just take a quick look at my phone. Oh, I'm allergic to cold. I, yeah, I hear you, Kim. I hear you. Yeah, I don't like the cold either. I like the fall weather myself, actually. I'll do them. Oh, I think I might do them all purple instead of adding the pink to it. I actually like this uh, coloring. I'll add the pink to the middle, maybe. Oh, that's what I think I'll do. Instead of adding the, um, excuse me, the the pearls. I'm not sure I like the pearls on that one myself. That's just me. Everybody's different. Everybody has their their own tastes. And then I'll just, yeah, I like the purple on that. And with the better press, you don't seem to color out of the lines like I tend to do at times. I do like that purple. I'll just color it a bit over here too. My craft room is my happy place. How many of you ladies enjoy your happy place? I 
it only does take a little bit of time, but the results are pretty, 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 pretty nice if I do say so myself. Okay, that is for the dark end. Okay, let's try. I don't know what co color to do the centers. I'm going to try the dark, the darker. I'll just color a circle. And then I'm going to take the medium part of the marker and blend it out. Like so. I do like that, actually. I mean, it's kind of maybe a little hard to see. Oh, there you can see it. I'll take the darker here and go like so along the bottom. Like, to me, I'm not really seeing that to be, oh, yeah, you can see it. Let's see. I can, there you go. And that's colored on cardstock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I don't have any purple necessarily, but I will make these into cards because I'm going to play with it some more. As well as this one that I've done with the pinks with the, um trills on it. Now what I wanted to show you was the different techniques or the different things that you can use. So it's done on some ribbon. Look at that. And it says just a note on some ribbon that you can tie around a card like so. Love, love, love it. Okay. And you can also do it on some gold paper, gold foil paper. Okay, and it cut more or less embosses it more than um, prints on it. But isn't that gorgeous? Actually, I'm going to go cut a piece of uh, mirror paper. Hold on one second, ladies, and uh, and try it. Let me get some mirror paper out. Um. I don't know if I have, you know what, I have some red. Let's just, for the heck of it, try a piece of red. I'll just cut a piece here, oops, on my other table, and we'll see what happens with the red. There. Okay, because we can cut that later, I'll just need a a bigger piece to it and my plate my plate my die and I'm just going to put the flower on it for now and I'm going to oops take my repositional tape and use it over again because I can okay I know it's going to probably waste more paper than what's there, but let's just see what happens. This is all a new experience to me, so. Let's take a look and see. We'll take a boo, ladies. goodness it's beautiful with the red look at that ladies can you see that look at that isn't that lovely so imagine what you can do with your different colored mirror paper that is just gorgeous so I'll make a card out of that as well oh my goodness I love it I absolutely just love it Just love it. Okay, ladies. Well, oh, I have something to mention to you, ladies. Hold on. I have it written down. Kara wanted me to mention it to you before I forget here. Okay. There is a Better Press Society. 
It's starting in January of 2024, and it is on on uh, the website. You have to commit for six months, um, and each month you will get a better press plate that they offer you. Okay. Oh, excuse me. It's thirty four ninety nine. There's two spots left, and it will be billed monthly. Now, what this will allow you as well is there's a Bitter Press Society on Facebook for only those people that have committed for six months that will show you different techniques with this, um, with the Better Press and so on. So if you're interested, it's thirty four ninety nine plus tax, and there is only two spots left. So hurry and grab your spot and your Better Press, and you'll be great, and you'll be set to go. Look at that, ladies. Look at this, what you can do with the Better Press on different types of paper. Just look at that. I just love it. Look at that. On the gold. Oh, I think it's wonderful. So I hope you've enjoyed today's um, episode of Inspirational Thursday. Like I said, I will get these cards made tonight. And I will put them on, or I will send them to Liz to actually add them to the website for everybody. I hope everybody enjoys their weekend and stay safe and have a great rest of your evening. Oops, oops, I'm late. Looking good. The tri markers are on the spur. Oh, thank you, Donna. I like doing that, actually. So I hope everybody enjoyed their evening and enjoy the rest of it. Thanks so much. Take care now. Bye-bye.